We will read from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 26, and verse 16. We will read from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 26, and verse 16. This day the Lord your God commands you to observe these statutes and judgments. Therefore you shall be careful to observe them with all your heart and with all your soul. Today you have proclaimed the Lord to be your God, and that you will walk in His ways and keep His statutes, His commandments and His judgments and that you will obey his voice. Also today the Lord has proclaimed you to be his special people, just as he promised you, that you should keep all his commandments, and that he will set you high above all nations which he has made, in praise, in name, and in honor, and that you may be a holy people to the Lord your God, just as he has spoken. Amen. Since God brought the people of Israel out from Egypt with a mighty hand, as he stirred up Moses from among the people of Israel to lead him and bring him to the land of Canaan, the land of promise, the people of Israel was going around the desert because he didn't believe with his whole heart and with his whole soul and the words of God that I'm giving you this land of Canaan, this land of promise, a blessing. But the spies, immediately when they got out from Egypt, when they saw the phenomenon, when they saw the giants, this mighty great man, this, uh, st these cities with strongholds, they said that we are very few, and if we try to get into them, then we'll be destroyed. Though the Lord told them, Go, and I will deliver to you all this territory. So, they came to a dilemma which was great. From the one hand, they had to believe in the Word of God and to walk according to the Word of God in order to overrule and get the land of Canaan. From the other hand, they had to believe um, their eyes, in their eyes, the mighty men that they saw and their weakness. And this generation couldn't believe this. They couldn't trust the Word of God they couldn't obey in the word of God. They couldn't because of their unbelief to do the will of God. And that's why God was forced to make the people of Israel to stay in the desert for 40 years to this generation to pass away and their children for which they were afraid that they would be destroyed if they will lead them in the land of Canaan. So the children, their children for which they were afraid, those were the ones that would enter and inherit the things that God had promised to them. So after 40 years and little f and quite a far from the land of Canaan before they entered Moses called them and he preached them for one more time the word of God the commandments of God the judgments of God and his statutes and after he taught them through his word which is the will of God and after he revealed to them which is the work of God's sense, they would believe and walk according to the will of God. 
and after he revealed to them everything, and nothing was hidden from the things that God revealed to Moses, then God commanded him for a specific day of covenant. Of covenant from God to choose pe to choose people and from people to choose God and his word a day of promises of God toward man toward his people and of people toward God and the day of devotion and receiving of the final decision And God wants to make a covenant and promises with his people and with each one of us separately but he also wants from us to make a covenant an agreement to choose of these promises so let us see through the infallible Word of God, how God works for one specific day. So that God may teach us what He wants to do to all of us, having agreement with our, our own opinion, even with our own initiative, to make a specific agreement. We would say that we would accept a covenant and an agreement of promises. And my beloved brethren, what God did back then with Moses, He wants always to do with His own people, especially in the New Testament which is something that he doesn't do with Moses but with Jesus Christ. God wants a day of devotion, of agreement, of a covenant with him. So this day, says Moses, the Lord your God commanded you after he has revealed to you his will with his word and his promises and the blessings with his word, today he commands you to do the word of God completely, not as you understand, but exactly as it is written. and to keep the judgment of His righteousness. And today that God has chosen you, today that God has called you and He commands you, He wants from you the obedience in the Word with your whole heart and with your whole soul. This is one agreement which comes from the initiative of God and the acceptance of the people of Israel, but it also may come from an initiative of man with acceptance and with joy from God with his relationship with man through Jesus Christ. This is a day that changes everything. This is a day that takes man out from the travel of the desert and he brings him in the triumph and the land of Canaan that flows milk and honey of the inheritance of God. This is a specific day of a perfect change where God understands the election that God makes, He accepts the Word of God 
and he promises before God obedience and doing of the word of the righteousness of God so in that day today take from your uh, God that he will be take this promise from God that he will be your Lord and gain with this decision and gain this promise of God that he will be your Lord and your God your Savior your Redeemer your Father and your Defender the Almighty and glorious God for your whole life with one condition that you may walk in his ways as they are described through the Word of God and the guidance of the Holy Spirit that you may keep the written judgments of his and his commandments and his righteousness and especially to seek his voice and to obey our strength is the Word of God and if in the temptation of Jesus Christ after 40 days fasting without having eaten anything and without having drunk after he was brought through the spirit to be tempted by the devil he confronted this temptation with the Word of God and with the voice of the Holy Spirit how much more we Will we not confront all these temptations, all these threats, all these frauds in our life, especially these last days, that the times will be evil and the Holy Spirit has prophesied that many will be deceived and will be taken away from faith, believing and false spirits and other doctrines how much more we since we are prepared to enter this last time this last battle and this last fight that God wants to create one holy church blameless born from the first apostolic church which looks like the first apostolic church so how much more we don't we need to make this decision and make this covenant with God we want because if you are not our Lord and our God and our helper our Savior and our Redeemer then how Will we finish our way? But in order for you to be our God, you promised to us that you will be our God. So we will take from God this promise to be in our personal life, in our family life, and in our church life to be. Jesus Christ to be our Lord and our God with everything that includes this by receiving the knowledge and accepting this condition that God puts for this great promise and that is to walk in the way which God has prepared for you to keep and to do his holy word and to obey completely in the voice of His Holy Spirit. And I repeat this. To walk exactly in the way that God has appointed for you. And how will this happen? And how will I know the way? If you make this decision, 
God, for one more time, he repeats, I will take care this obligation that I promised to you to be your Lord and your God. And firstly, I will may give you understanding so that you may understand completely my will, which is the good, the pleasing, and the perfect. Secondly, I will teach you, since you will understand which is my will, the good, the pleasing, and the perfect, I will teach you the way in which you should walk exactly according to my word. And thirdly, I will advise you. I will guide you with my Holy Spirit. You will be taught by the Holy Spirit. And last, I will defend you and I will protect you. This is a promise that is given so clearly from God through His Word of the Old Testament and the New Testament as well that I will be your Lord and your God if you accept and if you accept with your own will if you desire and therefore you ask with your whole heart your soul your might and mind then I will give you understanding I will reveal to you I will teach you I will advise you and I will protect you so continually after this agreement that God made with people the Lord took this promise from you that you will be a chosen people one and unique for him you will be his own people you will be the sheep of his flock you will belong to him completely God promises and now he's waiting for the people to promise also it benefits me to accept this promise of God by giving another promise you will be my Lord and my God you will be my good shepherd and I will be a sheep of your flock I will be your man I will be your people And I will keep all the commandments which you reveal to me. This is a private agreement which God wants all of us, but each one separately, to make with Him. Do you want? And now the promise, because God is true, His word is infallible. He's faithful, the one who promises. He cannot deny Himself. Today, you will make this decision. Don't let it for tomorrow or the next day. Today, you will write this agreement with Christ. And this will be sealed with His blood, which no one can touch it and it will be this agreement will be built up and it will increase with the power of the Holy Spirit in our life we have made many agreements for houses for works we have made many agreements with our wife with our husband with our children with our neighbors with our Employers, today God calls us to this agreement. Today God calls us to this unique, specific agreement, but which will take you out from the trouble of the desert and it will bring you, it will, to the land of promise.
For this reason, I, God, since you make this decision, no matter what age you are, what characteristics you might have, or anything else that differs you and defines you before God and man, so today I will make you high above all nations which I have made and you will be for my praise you will bring my name and to you it will be delivered uh, it will be manifested my honor and you will be a holy people that belongs to God you will be a holy son and a holy daughter which will belong to Christ this is one decision brethren this is one decision which even for the first time we have to make it so that we may leave the promises of God so that we may experience the promises of God since we force God to promise to us that He will be our God and our Lord with our decision we make God to promise to us that He will be from now and on our Lord and our God He will give you understanding if you promise this to you and agree He will teach you the way in which you should walk. He will advise you. He will protect you. And He is the one who will bring you from the desert that you are, that we are now. in a triumph way by crushing the enemy since he's the one that will crush Satan under your feet he will bring you because you cannot do it but you can believe if you want and this is enough he will bring you through the walls of Jericho which he will which he will destroy, he and not you, he will bring you and the triumph of the promise of his promise. So today, if we have heard the voice of the Holy Spirit, let us not harden our heart as the Israelites in the beginning of the 40 years and they left their bones in the desert. So today let us humble ourselves, let us express with our whole heart, soul, power and mind a complete Amen to the Lord, to His Word and to His promises. And let us make a steadfast decision to walk exactly as He wants in our life with a unique criteria the Word of God and the voice of the Holy Spirit and then God will bring us before uh, our own Jericho which is very high for us which is very great and terrible for us but for the Lord is nothing with a trumpet from God this world will fall and the triumph will be given from God to him who makes today this decision. Amen.